Colorado Outdoor Experience YouTube channel. Hey everybody, you're watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. Um, today, I said in a previous video that I would eventually take my Ruger Mark III out on the range just to see about where it prints on paper. Um, we're going to shoot it about 10 to 15 foot. I'm going to walk it off. And um, today, the ammo that we're using will be the Winchester Expert HV. It's just a cheap box of uh, ammo. I know I really should be shooting like CCI mini mags or something like that. I'm saving those um, just because, you know, the whole pandemic thing that we're in. It's a little bit hard to get a hold of right now. And, um, you know, I just want to see a baseline about where we're shooting. I do know that my sights need to be adjusted. Um, the last time I shot on steel, I noticed that I was shooting a little bit to the left. But uh, before I make any adjustments, I just want to verify that on paper. Um, and just make sure that my finger placement on the trigger is correct. My breathing's good. Let's try to make some good shots. See about where we're at. And uh, let's see what the old girl will do. I haven't shot it too awful much. Um, so, you know, I do know that I need to definitely practice with this trigger. But uh, I'm going to step it off right quick. Uh, make me a mark at about 15 foot. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, everybody, so I've stepped off 15 foot. Um, right here, there's a rock, and uh, the rock marks my 15 foot. I just stepped it off. And uh, let's put a magazine in this thing, take our time, and really see roughly where this thing is on paper. So let's go ahead and get our eyes and ears on. We are shooting rim fire. And I've heard that you can have a little bit of uh, case casing problems with that sometime. I've seen some videos where they've had some blow up. Now, we definitely don't want that. So we're going to make sure we got our eyes on and our ears. We really need some gloves, but I left mine at work. So let's make the pistol hot. We are hot. I have to say, I'm extremely impressed. We are safe. The magazine is now out. Bolts open. There's nothing in the chamber. That right there is one impressive group to be shooting some cheaper ammunition. I'm going to zoom in on it right quick and let you guys take a look at that. I didn't have one or two flyers, but well, I have one flyer right now. You can't beat that. There are rounds on top of one another. Um, tell you what I'll do is I'll leave it zoomed in on the target, and we're going to aim for that number eight right there. And uh, we'll put it. Try to put one right. Try to put some right there on that number eight. So uh, that way you guys can see the impacts. We'll see if I can do it again. Now the spotlight's on me here. <laughs> Alright, aim it at the number eight. And we are at 15 foot. So I notice that I am patterning slightly to the left. <laughs> wow, that's absolutely impressive. Actually, I might back it up and uh, try to shoot a little bit further. <laughs> Man, that's a great grouping pistol. That right there was at 15 yard, uh, or sorry, 15 foot. I might back on up to about 20 yard and see if we can hit something. Who knows? Hmm. But I have enough ammo. Let's try that. 
Okay, so I'm roughly at 25 foot. I just uh, walked it off. Should be around 25 foot. So divide that by three, that'll give you your yardage. Um, I would like to go back further, but my vision's not as good as it used to be. And my sight start to, to uh, kind of wash out. Um, really, really need to get some glass. But uh, I'm gonna zoom the target in. And this time we're gonna aim at the top number seven. See if we can get something to print. Um, let's try it. I'm having to manually zoom and everything by myself today. I uh, everybody's at work, so having to film solo. Okay. Hopefully, we'll stay locked right there. And again, we are shooting the. Uh, the Browning Mark III, sorry, the Ruger Mark III. What am I thinking? We're using the Winchester Expert, whatever they're called. They work, you know, they're cheap. They're probably bad for the gun. They're probably dirty it up. Everybody, I'm sure I'll hear comments about it. But I look at it this way, it's shooting accurately. And it's working, and I haven't had any malfunctions yet. So, we're right here at 25 foot. Let's see if we can print something. I'll probably miss it sure as the world. Because that's a little bit a stretch for my vision. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing that. I know I'm shooting a little high, I think. That's unfortunate because I know this thing groups well. Um, might put one more mag in it. I can see the group right there. It has opened up just a little bit. Um, like I said, a lot of that's me. I really need to. I really need to get my eyes checked. Let's put another mag in it right quick. Okay. Um, let's aim at the same spot. Okay, we're good and safe right there. Yeah, you see how the group did open up. I did get some shots on top of one another, but that's not the pistol. That's 100% me. Um, I just can't see very well anymore. Not like I used to be able to. But again, this is the uh, the Ruger Mark III 2245, it says. They call this the slab side. Um, I haven't really seen many of these particular ones online. Um, I actually haven't seen any of them online that are the slab sides that look like this. Um, I take it out every once in a while and shoot it. I've really wanted to. Uh, I've really wanted to get it on paper just to see what it does. Um, I know that it is. It is starting to foul up a little bit in there, so I'll have to take it back down and clean it. Um, this thing would definitely be a good candidate for some uh, some sort of optic, especially to help me see a little bit better. Maybe like a, a reaction dot or a red dot or um, something along those lines. But really, I don't want to take away from this, the nostalgia of this pistol. Um, you know, it, it's reliable. It shoots well. It's got a really good, you know, it looks good. And I wouldn't want to ruin that. So... You're watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you like these videos. Um, really, really want to build the channel. It's just, you know, it's hard to, hard to get people to subscribe for some reason. I don't understand it. I've got some videos that have 10,000 views, and I probably only have one person subscribe off of them. I don't know. Um, but if you guys like these videos, again, like and subscribe. And uh, you guys have a great day. Stay classy. Thank you.